Hey, good morning, guys. This is Pierre from CanAmSpiderAccessories.com. Welcome to the spider shop. I'm inside. Inside. Oh. Hello, Lydia. Hello. Comment ça va, Lydia? Un petit peu en français, a little French. Comment ça va? Bien, ça va bien. Ça va bien? Tu te gardes occupé? Yeah. All right, she's keeping busy. All right, I'm going to take you guys outside. I'm going to show you something that we've been doing dozens and dozens of times this year. This is something new for us, but it seems to be really appreciated. What am I talking about? Yeah, I'm going to show you this bike here that we worked on. You hear that? These are handlebars. We've been installing a lot of handlebar risers from Rivco. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit what it does on the bike. I haven't seen any videos apart, maybe one or two install videos, which I'll be making eventually, but really wanted to show you, you know, what it does to the bike. And I did one in French, I thought I'd do one in English, just to give you a little bit of an overview. So the handlebar risers, this is what I'm talking about right here. All right, so I'm gonna give you a visual. I'm gonna take one of these here. All right, so this was the original position of the handlebars and as you can see we raised them three inches so now like that and used to be like that I'll just give you a little bit of a look there of what it looks like all right and why do we do that why do we put handlebar risers well let me flip my screen around. All right, so what it does is that it's going to bring you up about three inches. It's going to help you go from slouching forward and being more straight, better posture, less stress on the shoulders. Now, when you're riding Canem Spider, an RS or a GS, you'll notice that a lot of, with the, the seat, which is slanted forward a little bit, and the way the handlebars are, are, are put, you're leaning forward on that Can-Am Spider. So uh, like me, I'm beat up a little bit by life. My shoulders are shot. So what happens is that I got a lot of pressure because I'm leaning forward on the bike and I've got the pressure on my shoulders. It's power arm, right? It's no power steering on the Can-Am Spider. So when you're turning, you're pushing, you're pulling, you're holding on for dear life and you've got the weight forward, you know, after 15 minutes on NARS, I just want to get off. So I tried this bike again yesterday. I went for a little test ride, you know, as we do when we finish up a bike. And I really liked the fact that I was sitting up straight. So that was better posture. I wasn't getting like a, a point in my middle of my back there between my two shoulder blades where I get a little, you know, stiffness there as I'm leaning forward and if I don't have a good position. So this helped me out a lot and it's going to help out the lady that has this bike. So the reason I wanted to give you a visual of it is because we've been doing so many. This is a new service that we've been offering at the Spider Shop this year. We didn't go to the extent of doing these kinds of things, but now with Steve, Steve is really good with this kind of stuff. We've added this service and once word got around the RS, uh, you know, like uh, the, the pack and the people that ride in our RS together here in Quebec they've been coming out like with by dozens and dozens of, you know and we've been turning a lot of these out so I just want to give you guys a little show and I think this visual was really really good telling you uh, we went from this to this and if you're looking for a solution as well for a cell mount or you know, a GPS mount and an RS. You say, hey Pierre, I don't have those bolts in the middle to put your stainless steel bolt. Well, I'm gonna be putting up on the web this new mount that we have here from Ram Mounts, which actually allows you to mount it directly on, you know, the handlebars here, what's left of it. And it's got a harness, it's got a USB port on this side here. It's got a harness and we've got a power source as well, right up front that you can tag on to. And that's gonna allow you to have power when you turn on the key and the ignition when the engine is running. So you're not gonna be draining your battery. So, because the battery is in the back here on the RS and it's kind of awkward to get to it. And just the layout of it is, yeah, it's not practical. So we've got one right up front, which we'll eventually make a video and show you guys how to do that. So. Yeah, that's it. I've been uh, busy at the spider shop uh, this uh, week. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, we turn out about 30 spiders every week and that's been keeping us busy. Steve is on vacation for a couple of days. Hey Steve, have some fun there for, for a few days off. I hope you have some good weather and we can't wait to have you back already. It's been uh, 10 minutes in the new day or we already miss you. So you take care of yourself, Steve. Come back with a lot of energy and ready to go. All right, guys, my name is Pierre. This is Spider Shop. And where can you get that? You can get that on canamspideraccessories.com. Right here. All right? You take care, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.